I'm so nervous that I'm not gonna be happy with this because I have really curly hair and that's my biggest thing is like I don't I'm not convinced that this will work for cur curly like thick frizzy hair My name is Amy and today I'm going to be filming the most exciting thing that has come into my life in such a long time and it is the Dyson Airwrap. I am so excited that I got this. I got this for 20% off during the Sephora sale. This is not a sponsored video. I paid my hard earned money to buy this and I, why am I sweating? Oh. No, I'm not sweating. I actually just wet my hair because I heard you have to do this with damp hair. So I just washed my hair and then I dampened it a little because it dried. So I'm so excited to actually try this out for the first time. I haven't opened it. I've been saving it for this video. So it comes with all the... Ah! So it's pretty heavy. Um, so it comes with all of these attachments and I'm super stoked. So the reason I got this is because I actually have the Dyson Airwrap blow dryer, the supersonic blow dryer but it was just getting really um, hard for me to curl uh, blow dry my hair and then I use a curling iron I just like thought it was just way too much time that it took and like I just felt like it was damaging my hair because I was blow drying my hair and then curling my hair and then using a straightener even even for a few pieces so I figured like I was like I'm just trying to not use a barrel anymore and I'm gonna use this instead so let me go get something to open this give me one sec And this is it. Oh my god, it's, I'm so emotional. I'm so happy I got this. I don't know why things like this make me so happy, but this made me so happy. Okay, so the packaging, it is phenomenal. Do you guys see? So cute. Okay, so let's get back to this. Okay, so super nerdy moment right now. I'm so excited for my hair too. Like, my hair just like doesn't know how much I spoil it like it has no idea how expensive treatments conditioners Dyson air wraps is it doesn't understand and it still does not choose to grow lusciously long this guy my hair has been through hell and back so I just turned this bad boy on Okay, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. What I'm gonna do first is show you guys how every how each attachment works. I use that it's a 10 as a heat protectant. I feel like my hair needs to be wetter, but whatever. Okay. And then I go in with the Olaplex bonding oil to give my hair some oils that it needs and my ends okay I actually made this tie-dye shirt yesterday and I'm so happy that it was ready so I just put this on before the video okay so which one do I want to use first okay That like looks nice.
Okay. I'm not mad at it, but it looks really, it's like a nice curl. And my little pieces are always really like wavy. I always go in with the straightener after. But I notice the heat is very hot. Like it's like making me really hot. So I'm gonna do the medium one because I don't think I need it up to the highest heat. It was like burning my ear. It does feel really nice not having to use like a blow dryer and a spoon and uh, a brush, brown brush. So this feels really nice. I do wish it was bigger because I used a bigger barrel, but this is nice. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. And this one is, I believe, the smoothing one. This is like what I'm really excited about because I wanna not have to straighten this hair. So if I can smoothen this out with this, that is the dream. This is like my dream team. I'm like hoping it becomes my dream team. Dude, it literally feels like I'm straightening my hair. Wait, what? This could literally be a straightener. Wait, what? This is like, my hair is, is so straight. Look at this. This is insane. And it's like smooth, it's like not frizzy. When I blow dry my hair, it's so frizzy. Oh my God, this is insane. I am like so surprised. Okay, I love that. I absolutely love that. I'm gonna go ahead with the cooling set setting for a little bit. Okay, so remember I curled the back piece, so I don't want you guys to look at that. Okay, I like blended in, but it's fine. You see how straight this is? I didn't have to, I did not have to straighten my bangs. Like, that is the dream that you don't have to use a, cur a blow dryer, a curling iron, and then a strainer. It's like any curly girl's head, like curly girl, like dream. It, it, it really is. Okay, so this one is a firming one. Um, and I don't really know what the difference is. It feels the same. Actually, this one's like more, like it doesn't bend as much as this one does, if that makes sense. So it could be, that's why it's for coarser, thicker hair. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try the top section here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and move this hair back here. We don't need it. We don't want it. Okay. And mind you, I did it on like the second, like it's not the hottest. I'm doing it in the medium one and it, straightened like that, so that's insane. So, 
I actually feel like this is a little smoother. Um, I like, again, I just feel like this is like really, it's like straightening. I thought it was just gonna blow dry, puffy and like straight, if that makes sense. But this is like, it looks like flat ironed, but it's not. And I'm using less heat. Okay, so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is try the blow dryer, I guess, but let me go ahead and get a brow brush. Yeah, this like functions this is very similar to my blow dryer, like similar to my blow dryer. Um, I do feel like because it's like narrow like that, like straight, that's how like the um, curly, the round brush is. So it just like, I'm putting heat where it needs to go. It doesn't need to go around it. Like you see, whereas like the round brush, it goes, distributes like out of it outer of it like it just goes like that and I just like how this is just like I need you to blow dry here and this is where you're gonna blow dry okay so it's supposed to be going in the direction that you want your hair to go so I want it to go that way um, the curl to go that way and to do that you're supposed to look at the mirror and like obviously from the camera you can see that it wants you to face that way but when you're holding it it's telling me to go that way okay you get the point so you're gonna want to go into the direction that the mirror Tells it to go, and then I'm gonna get a piece that's like nice and damp. Damp in that area. My hair dries really fast. Is it cause like, is my hair dry or? It just dries so fast. Okay. Why doesn't it go up? I feel like it's not like smoothening the top. I'm so nervous. That looks pretty. It looks pretty, but it looks like... Okay, I like it. I feel like if I brush it out, it'll look really nice. Let me go get a brush. Be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and brush this out to see how it'll look. I like it. I'm not mad at it. Wow. And if, like, imagine, like, the entire hair, it'll be so... Okay, let's see. I don't wanna talk unless I'm for sure convinced. And now I'm gonna go ahead and try the smaller piece. This is one and a half and this one was a one and a sixth. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. Oh, the, the barrel actually is hot. I, like, I don't know why I assumed it'd be like, cool. Okay. Here it is. So far, I'm really pleased with this. I feel like this is all this. It has so much like volume, you know. When I feel like when I curl my hair with an iron, with a curling iron, it's like curled, but it's like it doesn't have that fluff. You know what I mean? And that fluff gives you like volume. It makes your hair look like thicker than it actually is. That's what I want.
Get those pieces. It is so pretty. I don't want, ah! <laughs> okay, so this one I used, I did use the cooling setting after I forgot to do it with this one. Um, because it's like I've never done that before, so I'm not used to it. I'm gonna go ahead and brush this out so we can see how it looks with, when I brush it out. Usually what, I, what I'm hoping to do is like, when I blow dry my hair I, or curl my hair, I always usually go with a brush just to make it look nice. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and this. Oh. This is also the Mason Pearson brush. I know, super bougie of me, but I love this brush. Okay. Wow. Okay. So this, the one and a half inch, the one and a half makes your hair a lot more like obviously like tighter curls um whereas this one is a little bit more loose i don't know if it's just like the way i did this one i kind of it was like my first time doing it so i don't know if i just messed up um so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is do one more just for the sake of this video doing a first impression on this is so messy because like i'm sorry i don't know how to use this i'm gonna go ahead and try the one in a six barrel just so that we can compare but I lost that curl already okay it's right there that is not your family okay cool okay there this is the curl I look like a crazy person so now what I'm gonna do is try the one in a six one more time just so that we can see how the curl differentiates from the one and a half concern is that it doesn't like curl the top it's straight smooth in the top but I feel like I did that right it's super loud too Now what I'm gonna do is use a cooling setting. Uh, the cooling setting is gonna shoot cold air so it locks it in place and makes it shiny and also keeps the curl intact for much longer. Oh my God, it's so cute. It actually smoothened the top this time. I think the trick is you have to go in very, very close to your head you just bring it that is so pretty okay let me just brush it out ah! that looks so nice okay okay what I'm gonna go ahead and do is now I'm gonna blow dry my entire hair uh, play with it some more and then I'll come back with the end result and I'll let you guys know what my final thoughts on so far I really love it. My only concern was that the, the barrels weren't gonna smoothen the top part of my hair But we saw that, that it did on the last time that we tried it So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I will be back a few moments later
Okay guys, so I just finished my entire hair and I am brushing it with a hair with a hairbrush, uh, my Mason Pearson brush. I absolutely love the results. My hair looks really like voluminous. I can probably show you. That looks here. Of course, it's my first time like there is definitely a learning curve to this. I do recommend doing one side of like your left side first and then your right side because changing the barrels does get a little time consuming. Another thing is you wanna make sure that your hair is wet. Not wet, but like it is damp enough for it to work. So you're either gonna be dampening your hair towards the last few pieces or using like a heat protectant as your moisture to do that which is no problem but I do like that I was able to blow dry my entire hair and curl my hair under 40 minutes and that's like not a thing for me like I would have to wait for it to dry blow dry my hair and then curl it I just feel like this is so much faster because a I can do this with like damp hair you know and then like curling your hair is done while you're blow drying your hair that's a no-brainer I honestly do like the the volume that it gives my hair this is not something you get when you do a, a regular curling iron your hair just like looks really flat at least my hair looks flat because my hair is actually not that thick but this makes my hair look thick because it's giving it volume it even looks shorter because it's like outward of course not all the curls are perfect I there is like techniques that I'm trying to like work on for instance like that you don't want to put a lot of hair on the barrel you want to make sure that it's like a good like two inches wide of hair because like the whole entire thing can't hold a lot of hair so I mess up in those parts another thing I do recommend is going in with that smooth brush for the top pieces that'll definitely help um, towards the end like I can even do that now and then smoothen my hair I at least after I figured out like wait what way to go I still messed up like three times so that is annoying but it does like honestly like I'm so I'm so really excited that I that I am like gonna hopefully help protect my hair from damage I want to see how long this lasts I'll probably like type it here how long it lasts and then edit this video and post it I highly recommend trying this out if a friend of a friend that you know has it tried this out because I never tried it out on my hair until I got it but honestly like look how volumizing that looks and like when I get better if my entire hair looks like that like volume curls soft curls like that it's gonna look amazing okay well thank you guys so much for watching this video give this video a thumbs up um, and then if you guys ever have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I will respond to all the questions. But thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good rest of your day and take care.